there's nothing like uh, playing university hockey in Canada here in Wolfville because, you know, we play in front of 18, 1900 fans a game and, and there's so many opportunities for our guys to learn not just in the classroom but community-based learning because, you know, people are, are always eager to, to have our guys in the classrooms or with their, their charities and those types of things. So I think the, it's a cyclical relationship. It's exceptional for everyone involved and, and as I said, I mean, there's, there's no better place to play in this country. Well, having Rogers, I mean, obviously Rogers is uh, so extremely high profile in North America and sports, and basically what they're doing for us is, you know, is bringing the world of hockey to Wolfville and to Acadia, and uh, it's just going to be an amazing experience. I mean, there's so much buzz and excitement about it. I mean, everybody watches Rogers Sportsnet, so, uh, you know, to have them coming here and to spend three or four days in our community, it's, it's fantastic because, you know, they're bringing a lot of notoriety and, and they're going to, you know, get to see some tremendous people in this community and, and what they do for others. Uh, that's exciting in itself and, and it's just nice to see some people here get recognized for the hard work they've done and a lot of things they do behind the scenes for other people. Great. Well, I think what Rogers is, is going to find out is, is it's going to be a great decision that they came here. They're really going to get to see, you know, a community that is behind people, uh, people that are there for each other, and, and they rally around the game of hockey and they rally around sport. Uh, you know, there's so many programs they're going to see here that, you know, are so integral in, in Acadia University and Acadia Hockey. and. As I said, it's a two-way street. You know, we need that community and, and their support, and our guys benefit so much from it. And uh, you know, we we can't pay back a lot of the adults in the community, but we can only pay back their children. And uh, I think it's just uh, beneficial for everyone. And I think they made a great decision. And I think you know they'll be very, very impressed with with the people they meet and the caring that's in this community and and what Acadia Hockey is all about. Well, I think you know the Acadia Hockey Program you know, and Acadia, I mean, it's just such an integral part, you know, of the community and the community is so important to us. And, uh, you know, I've been fortunate enough, I came here 25 years ago and, uh, you know, not a day goes by that I don't realize, you know, how fortunate I guess we are to have each other. I mean, this. Well, it's just a huge event for our hockey program. Uh, it's, it's an annual event. Uh, it's the Friends of Acadia Hockey Golf Scramble, and uh, it's, a, it's a great day for the community in Acadia and the Annapolis Valley. Uh, I think we've got 31 teams here today, so we'll probably have uh, approximately 170 people here. Uh, and all the proceeds of this go to our, our tutoring program for our players, which, uh, you know, as you know, we've been very fortunate. I think last year we had uh, 14 academic All-Canadians, so uh, the money goes to help those guys with their extra studies. They're busy people in the community, obviously, with playing hockey, too. So, um, you know, those are much-needed funds to help guys excel not only on the ice but in the classroom as well.